I believe that what the gentlemen have talked about here tonight, of 45 decimals, is just the right amount. I live on 223, and your sons, your daughters, drive by my house, move their radio, blabby, is larger than the 45 decimals that these blue turbines are going to have that are 1,400 feet away from my house. The similar drive by my house, they use Jake brakes. The train goes by my house. I feel the train. But I've been out by these wind turbines for two and a half months out west working around them, taking weed off five years ago. They didn't bother. Yeah, they're out, out in the country and everything. And this fall, I hauled tomatoes down to uh, Geneva, Indiana. Drove through Baldwin County. Talked to people down that way around the winter. I thought things were great because they're making money for their schools. And at 1,400 feet and the 45 decimals that they're proposing should be just about right to do this project. In the last three years, look at the companies that have left. The city of Avery, Marlas, Bowen 13, which is gone to Poland. Where did those people go? Out of a job. And they talk about housing, that the value of the property goes down. Well, we lost these people. They don't have jobs, so they come make their house payments. Here's an opportunity to put some people to work, to put money back in this community, and for taxes, and for our schools. I hope you adopt this program that they're putting forward to you. I know it's a tough decision for you and our township board and for the county board here to make tonight. Thank you. Thank you. When at Bankham, resident of Ogden Township, I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to speak here tonight. Uh, one of the things I'd like to address is Mr. Isley's comment about the IICC and their shirts. It would be like reading the back of a book and not reading the front. What it says is too tall, too many, too close. We're not against them. We just think that people should come first and they should be proper setbacks, proper noise levels, things like that. That's all we're saying. In regards to Mr. Neiman, well, he does live on 223, and I wish that I could get a setback in my township as far as he's going to get being on 223. And cars do drive by, and the trucks with their Jake brakes and stuff like that, but it lasts for a couple seconds. It's not spinning. It's not going 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 52 weeks a year for 20 years. That's a constant thing. It's constant. It's not going to stop. I, I, my opinion is that the setback should be from the property line, otherwise you are going to limit growth. And any of the townships that these go in, if it's just from a residence, how can someone else build a house? How could you have new people come in and build houses once the market comes back up and turns around and people want to start building? You're not going to have those people building houses on land that could potentially be taxpayers and whether they're working here or paying property taxes. So, um, and my last comment would be that I'm sure all of you have bought and sold real estate. I've been in real estate for 22 years. I can tell you, any property that sits next to a gas station, anything with a view that's not great, takes three times as long to sell and sells for way less than half. Something that would sell that doesn't have that view. I mean, we all know it's location, location, location. And any of you that bought and sold real estate, you know that. So don't let them fool you that these are not going to affect property values. They are. My name is Tony Irvin. I'm a Bloodstone resident and also a board member of Great Lakes Wayne. Uh, appreciate your work on the right of uh, ordinance before and appreciate your 
uh, your work now for the uh, Palmyra uh, ordinance. Um, the obviously, I support when I believe uh, that we need to uh, move forward uh, to create new opportunities for our county, uh, for our surrounding area. Uh, I believe it's safe, unlike a lot of, of uh, other counties that you've heard. Um, I don't necessarily agree with the IICC uh, that they're not against wind. I've heard more than once uh, this last week, week before, I can't remember, but the recommendation for a one mile setback, which is pretty exclusionary. Um, so to say that uh, they're trying to work with us or work with the townships. So I just don't agree. But I appreciate your uh, due diligence. And I uh, uh, hope to see some support come out of uh, the, uh, the county level of government uh, to uh, not only the planning commission, which you've shown, but uh, other levels too that uh, uh, might give people confidence to uh, stand up a little more and show their support too. So, thank you very much. I have a question if I may. Sure. Go ahead. You've taken a look at these different amendments yeah. that are before us. Yeah. How do you feel about these? Do you feel that these are a little bit too limiting or? Actually, the to 
replace some turbines commercially in that township. Any more tweaking, trying to move that line closer, will um, make it restrictive and there won't be any turbines. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for your words, comments. We appreciate you coming. And, and uh, Jim, go ahead. <clears throat> Before we do vote, I want to commend you, each and every one of you, because you have been one of the best audiences that I've ever sat in front of in a meeting. I don't care whether you're for it or against it. You're very. Yeah. You, you don't agree with each other? There's nothing wrong with that. You respected each other enough that you, you should be commended for that. And I appreciate that. I do think, and I won't get a lot of what I read, but I think your township, whether you're for or against it, has done as much as they can do to hear as many people as they can hear, to satisfy everybody's questions, I don't think you can get a better board or a better planning commission to listen to. They were, uh, some of the planning commission was uh, here for the other meeting, and one particular uh, planning commission person kind of challenged this board that night to do something that Perkin always did do. It is uh, very nice to see you people agree to disagree as well as you're doing. We know that I won't make everybody happy no matter which way I go. And I'm not ancient, but I'm old enough to know that I can't do it anyway. So, uh, but I do really commend you people. Uh, I, you know, generally when we have a, a situation like this, you know, we've got five or six shouting at five or six, that we soon get quiet and down. And then we listen, and everybody goes away discussing with each other. And like I said, I don't, I don't think that there's some people going to happen. I'm, I, I'm sure of that. But at the same time, uh, you, you. Presented it well. I appreciate it. Go along with that help. The planning commission does an excellent job. The only thing before we vote, I want to make sure that it's 14 seconds. This one. It's uh, three times from the residents. Should be about 15 minutes. It's just written what you have. Okay, thank you all. We have a motion and a second. Uh, will you state the motion in the course? Well, it's pretty much, uh, <coughs> Casey made the motion, I'm trying to find it in the notes here, but uh, uh, made the motion to uh, concur with the staff report uh, and recommendations. Thank you.